Hi guys, I wanted to pop on here real quick and show you guys a little flip through and first impressions of the Apologia new math curriculum. This is going to be level two. I don't usually do any kind of curriculum reviews, but I haven't seen a lot out there yet because it is a brand new curriculum. Um, I was the crazy one who bought a brand new first year curriculum, um, only seeing a couple of sample pages, but I did watch a video of the author showing how she set up her math curriculum, and I just fell in love with her heart and passion for teaching math and how she wrote this curriculum. And uh, Apologia has always been great with their science, so I figured that if they were great with their science, then they wouldn't just half-heartedly put out a math curriculum. So uh, this is gonna be my fourth year teaching. I've got a third grader and a second grade grader, so I'm gonna use this for my second grader. And we have a background of math and a Becca math, okay? Uh, it comes with a teacher's guide and then your student guide. So I'm going to give you a quick flip through of the teaching guide and answer key. Here's your table of contents. <laughs> uh, here is the daily schedule. And it is going to be 28 weeks, 14 chapters, <laughs> and 105 lessons. And at the end of each unit, there's a project. The introduction is coming from a homeschool graduate and homeschooling mom. Okay, gives your overview. And I really like how at the beginning of each unit, it tells you what you need for your supplies. And it looks like it's pretty simple. It's not going to be anything that you have to go make, go to some crazy store a million miles away <laughs> to find these things. <laughs> okay, so you've got your chapter, you've got your lesson, answer key, and a little blurb about how to teach your child the concept or why you're teaching it. First impression is it doesn't have a lot of instruction, but hopefully that will be good enough. I don't know, we'll see. And then at the end, you have your activity sheets. So for each lesson that has an activity, you're gonna find that in the back and you're just gonna tear it out it is not perforated, so you're just gonna tear or cut out. So we'll see how that goes. And then at the end, there is a complete supply list. Paisley, hold it still, please. Okay. I did notice that there is a pretty big gap in between, like you've got lesson 63, 64, and then you don't have another lesson to tear out until 97, so we'll see. Okay, so here is the student text, and I like that it's spiral bound. It looks like it's quality. I liked this little part here. Um, she says that life is always too much for us to handle on our own. Writing a book the same year I had my third child was no exception. We bring our weakness, and God takes that offering and makes something beautiful and lasting. Whenever I doubted my capacity, I remembered who created the math I was writing about. He is indeed sufficient for us. Writing this book allowed me to see that sufficiency even more clearly. So I just love that, and I love um, supporting this author as well. And I love the Christian influence, even in math. Here is your table of contents, uh, number sense, place value, numbers to a thousand, addition and subtraction with two digit numbers, and you've got a unit on money and time, addition and subtraction with three digit numbers, measurements and data, and geometry at the end. Here it tells you that there's these little book icons. This one is going to show you that it's a skills practice. 
and you get you get um, extra details in the parent answer key and this one is a watering can so it knows you're going to be doing an activity magnifying glass is looking up a, it's going to be a vocabulary word or concept and seedling is your lesson practice pages and then there's also going to be extra over in the answer key I did notice that it looks like when I'm looking through here that there is not a lot of extra practice in here. I don't know if I'm going to just write out separate extra problems for my daughter to do. It also says that they are, there are extra activity sheets on the book extras website, so we'll see. I definitely feel like I would need to um, kind of supplement with some extra practice problems. All right, so just kind of looking, I really like that it is colorful and pleasing to the eye. Here is your lesson, so here's your activity and your practice. So here it shows you that you're going to go over and you're going to get your chart out of the back. Oh, not that one. And that's going to go with this. Okay, and that's all for lesson one, it's just these two pages. Okay, let's flip ahead to lesson, say 14. You're gonna pull this sheet from your teaching guide and you're working on three digit numbers with your base 10 blocks. This one's a little bit longer, it's like four pages and you've got some word problems. So I do like that I've seen word problems throughout this text. Okay, and then you're back to lesson 15. Let's jump ahead a little bit. Lesson 25, you're gonna take UNO cards and you're gonna use numbers one to nine. It's kind of gonna be like, go fish if they've got a number you're trying to collect pairs that equal 10 so your kid is wanting to get a six and a four or um, a nine and a one and when they get that pair they put it down so I love the hands-on activities in this these are your making 10 and we'll see I've never taught this way before if my daughter can learn to do mental math better than I did that's gonna be great so we'll see some word problems here. Okay, and then it goes on to lesson 26. So, and then this lesson did not have a corresponding sheet to go with it. All right, and we'll just do one more. Lesson 57, you're gonna get out your activity sheet and you're gonna work on adding and subtracting what is it asking you to do using the bar model. Under the frequently asked questions, it says that on the website, it says that this is mastery with lots of review. Going into money. All right. So I wanted to just give you guys a little quick peak um, and you got a little certificate at the end when she completes it. I'm really excited to try this out. Um, right now I'm thinking the pros are that it's easy to follow, that it's eye-catching and what I would say eye-calming which just means I get really overwhelmed if there's too much clutter all over the page. So this is just very simple, very clean, eye-catching and what I say eye-calming. And it has lots of games, and lots of hands-on activities for reinforcement. As far as cons, I don't know. My daughter has done a lot of this already in kindergarten and first grade, so it may be a little on the light side, but I really don't want to judge it that way yet. So I don't know that it will be. Um, and then I would like some more practice pages, so I'm going to go find, look on the website to see if I can find some more practice pages. And then there's no future levels out yet, so it's kind of an unknown. I don't know about level three. So that's exciting, but also, you know, there's always fear of the unknown. Hopefully this video helped you to kind of decide if you wanted to try it out this year. I will let you know how it goes, and we're excited about the coming year.